everybody, and welcome to another episode of Insufficient Friends. I'm Kevin. She's Stevie. Hi. And uh, Steve, happy Thanksgiving. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, hope you had a great uh, time with family, friends, whoever you spent time with. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's where we're going to start. Steve, how was your Thanksgiving? Was I know good. you don't like this question. How was your week? But how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. It's always so busy, you know. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of stuff packed into just a couple days. Mm-hmm. But it was good. It's always good. It did um every year I'm surprised how much people care about other people's lives and how much like you know, there's there's just always family drama. Even if it's not something I that I'm <laughs> in, it's like something yeah. you see, you, you hear about it, you yeah. know? And okay. it always it always surprises me. I don't know why. I mean, I spent Thanksgiving by myself, so it. You had to work, guys. Yeah, I had to so work it's that like morning. You can't so really travel. yeah, I don't really get, don't really have time to travel. Our, our everybody in my family doesn't really do Thanksgiving anymore. Like they do the little immediate families. Like mm-hmm. my dad, um, stepmom, little brother had like their little like they had yeah. Thanksgiving, and I, in the past, my dad and uncle have gotten like food for my grandparents and taken it over there for them for Thanksgiving. I don't Mm -hmm. know if they did that this year or not, but they just kind of do like our own little things. We don't do the big get togethers anymore. Yeah. We haven't done them for years. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, it's not, I don't really feel like I miss that much not being able to go to Thanksgiving. don't miss it? I mean, it would be nice to see everybody and do something like that, but we don't, I don't, it's not that I don't miss that. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm not missing out on anything because there's not really anything that happens. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I... Because I talked to my dad for like two and a half, three hours on Thanksgiving while yeah. I was cooking. I was just talking to him on the phone. So. Right. And, I mean, I've as I've said before, for a long time, all my holidays were pretty small just mm-hmm. because of the... You don't have that many people. I don't have around. many yeah. people in my family that live nearby, and so there was just we did four of us every year for Thanksgiving, and now there's more people in our lives, and I love that, and I love that not only they get to join, but I also join them. You know, I go somewhere else on Thanksgiving now, but I still make time for you know my dad and my grandparents, but like they are also doing new traditions as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's not like it's not that I don't miss the four of us hanging out, but. That just doesn't happen as often anymore, just because we have yeah. more people in our lives. Yeah, you've got more people, so that's going to happen. So, totally. I was thinking about this a little bit earlier today. Okay. What of the th- of the food that you? Because Thanksgiving's all food. Oh yeah, and so, we, this is a topic you and I specifically. We always it always comes back to food. We love talking about food. We're foodies. Yeah, we love food. We love to cook. I Everybody feel like. can see that I love food. Well, so. okay, but. <laughs> Anyway, Kev, but but you and I specifically, and I feel like this is a topic. Even when we work together, it was we, food. We a lot always of times. bring up food. Yeah, it's just so I'm not surprised by this topic at all. I was like kind of preparing for this on my way over here. I was like, what? I wonder if we're going to talk about food today. Oh, of course we're going to talk about food. Okay. Anyway, Continue. so of the food that you guys cook slash Thanksgiving staples. Okay. What would you consider your favorite, and what would you consider your least favorite? So, this is a multifaceted question. Yeah, it's two parts. But even within those parts, there's more, because my grandma makes things that, she makes them ways that other people don't, and she adds her own little touch. Well, that's fine, but I'm just talking general, like, if it's that, that's fine. Okay. Because everybody's going to make it a little bit different when they make things, like... That just happens so when you're cooking. My first go-to, if it's my like family's Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. my grandma's stuffing okay. is always on point. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, but I don't like... St- I've not had stuffing other places that I've liked as much okay. as my grandma. So that always wins okay. for me. And I'll, I'll just throw in a bonus. The, any type of roll is probably in my okay. favorites. I love the rolls. The rolls, okay. But I don't really like, I don't like Thanksgiving food, typically. I don't care for the turkey. I'll just say that. Yeah. I don't care for cranberry sauce. We talked about this, I think. I yeah. don't care for 
I mean, mashed potatoes are fine, but it's like I can only eat so much. I don't really care about them. I don't like sweet potatoes that much. Yeah, I don't like sweet potatoes either. Um, I don't really I, pumpkin pie is is okay, but I don't really like it that much either. I'm like whispering because I feel bad. <laughs> um, okay. so favorite, I'll go. I'll go grandma stuffing. Okay. Least favorite of like traditional, I'll go cranberry sauce because I've just never understood. Why people can't, like buy that blob of cranberry sauce? Some people there. don't. But Some people I feel buy. Like if we're talking traditional, it's well, a I very think, traditional. I think cranberry sauce either. in general is traditional, but I, I think some people do the canned and they love the canned, and some people do make their own. Either I don't like. Yeah, I'm not a cranberry sauce person either. Um, but I would have to say my favorite. I I love deviled eggs. Okay, see, no one, no Thanksgiving love that deviled. I go to makes deviled eggs. Always have deviled eggs. It's one of the few times a year that I make them because I don't. I can make them anytime. Any of this you can make any time of year. Yes. But I usually don't make deviled eggs that often. And probably my least favorite, um, casseroles. I don't like green bean casserole. Okay. I don't like sweet potato casserole because I don't like sweet potatoes and I don't like the savory sweet thing. I don't. Yeah. I just don't like it. Right. Um, my dad loves green green casserole. See, I don't. And he will. He only gets it like once or twice a year because right. it's diff- it's a more of a intensive thing to make. Yeah, and he loves when he gets it. I don't know if he got it this year. Uh-huh. I don't know if they made it this year, but he um, he loves green bean casserole. I do not like green bean casserole. At I don't all. think I I don't honestly don't know if I've ever had it. I don't care. I don't like green beans, so I'm just going to safely assume I it wouldn't. I'm not. It's, I'm not missing out. But I don't think any Thanksgivings I go to have green bean casserole. I realized as I was. Like making my, because mm-hmm. I still make a Thanksgiving dinner for myself, even, yeah. and I just keep the leftovers. I don't right. make as much because it's just me. But I realized um, that I don't make a lot of Thanksgiving staples when I make. I make turkey. Okay. I made mashed potatoes and stuffing, which again, I don't, I mean, yes, they're staples, I guess. Yeah. But. I eat mashed potatoes and turkey all year round. Like, I don't eat the turkey the same way. Like, right. I don't roast it in the right. oven, but I eat turkey all yeah, year round. Yeah, I eat round. turkey sandwiches all Yeah, the time. exactly. I made deviled eggs, and I made... That was it. Mashed, mashed potatoes, turkey, deviled eggs, and stuffing. And I bought a pumpkin pie, which I don't... I guess that's not a all-year-round thing, because you can't even find it most of the time all year round, but... I will say... There's always something with, like... Where I go, there's always something with corn. And I like a good... I like corn. Cream corn. Yeah. I'll get that. But I'm not, I've never I've never cared for the turkey. And that honestly the way it's made on Thanksgiving, I would say is what I'm least likely to go for. So the roasted terms. turkey? Yeah. Okay. Like the only time I'm eating turkey is like yeah, on a sandwich and it's usually from like a deli. It's like I don't know how that's cooked. But hmm. Do you know okay. what I'm talking about? Yeah, like a deli, like deli turkey. Yeah, yeah, that's what I eat most of the year round too. Right, but yeah, I, never really cared for it. Okay, I, I like, I like most of those things. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. There's kind of a, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a big. I think most of the food you can eat all year round, so it's not really. It doesn't seem special. Yeah. Um, most of the time. So I don't, you know. I the desserts I appreciate a lot, but they're they're also not. I wouldn't say they're traditional. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. But you have a very big sweet tooth. I do love desserts. Um, also, people in my family like there's a f- most people around me during the holidays are sweet tooth people as well. Okay. So it's just something I grew up with. I think that makes sense. Um, but and it's not pumpkin pie. I don't actually think. At my family's Thanksgiving, growing up, we never had pumpkin pie. So what do you do? Do you just do, like, ice cream? Like, what do you do for desserts? Cookies? Brownies? Like, what do you what do? you Because do? I usually just... It's different every year, but I can tell you what we did this year, but it's always different. Okay, well, what'd you do this year? My... So I made Buckeyes. Do you know what Buckeyes are? Yeah, you told me about that the other day. Um, And that was something I make for... I started making that for my boyfriend's family's Thanksgiving, because mm-hmm. they were... That's always what they made, and I just started doing it for them and then this year i made just a bunch and i like split it up okay um 
Oh, I also made another dessert that I messed up. We'll get into that in a second. <laughs> but so I make Buckeyes and then my grandparents bought some cookies. Okay. And then we had, oh, we made brownies just because my grandma always has like a box of brownies that she'll just make whenever. So we made brownies. And I think we had, I think we did have a pumpkin pie that was like someone gave it to my grandma. Mm -hmm. She just had it, but I don't think anyone even touched it. And then my boyfriend's family, we have like pecan pie. There there was a pumpkin pie, but it wasn't a traditional pumpkin pie. It was, um, I forget the word, but it's when it's more like whipped cream texture. And it's got, it was just more of like a, it's hmm. almost like Cool Whip with a little bit of pumpkin at the very bottom mixed hmm. with other stuff. And then they do Rice Krispies. Okay. And they do, obviously, the Buckeyes. Um, I think, oh, there was Gooey Butter Cake. They're in St. Louis, oh, that so that's sense. classic. Um, and then I tried to make an eggnog pie, which is just Cool Whip eggnog and, like, instant jello mix. Mm-hmm. Um, the f- filling was great. I never made a pie before, never bought a pie crust before. I didn't know that the pie crust wasn't ready to go and eat. No, you have to you have to make it. I didn't know that. I thought people just bought like they were like ready like shake and go. You just take it out and you put your pie in it and it's good. So, I had that and it's sitting on the table all day and I think someone finally looked, looked at, at it, it and was, was like, like that this doesn't is not done. quite look right. So of course I was eventually asked if I baked it and I said, yeah, just just do whatever you're about to do, just do it because no, it's not cooked. I can tell you right now I did not cook this <laughs> at all. The recipe was like no bake. So I was like, great. Well, the filling is no bake. <laughs> Didn't say bake the crust either. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So, okay. <laughs> a bit, so then, there, thankfully, my boyfriend's mom had another pie crust. Mm-hmm. She baked that, and then we just transferred. Because, I mean, the it wasn't to that, yeah. put together any specific way. It was just basically the consistency yeah. of whipped cream. So we just plopped it in, put a little nutmeg on top, and it was delicious. <laughs> but it was almost, I almost poisoned his family. I mean, I don't think they would have been poisoned. but I don't think they would have either, but... You know, serving raw dough is probably not. It's probably the not the best thing ever, but <laughs> somebody for an caught it. Family. I guess somebody caught it, so that's this good. is true. See, we never. I don't remember ever doing that many sweets. Like we had, we had a couple pies or something, but we didn't make like a big. We always had the more savory stuff, and that was that was more of what the food was. How many people were typically at your Thanksgiving? Nine to ten. So not a ton. The one that had the most desserts, my boyfriend's family Thanksgiving, had probably thirty five people. It's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. It's a blast. I love it. I get so excited every year. But I think because there's just so many people, and there's I would say um, there's almost ten children, mm-hmm. like probably below the age of ten. Mm-hmm. So because of that, and I think just so many people, it's like people start to ask, "What can I bring? What should you make? What that should you make?" Sense. You just say, yeah. "You know what? Since." the person hosting is doing like the main courses some bring a dessert make a pie yeah and i think that's why also so many non-traditional things get put in there because so many everyone wants to help on thanksgiving yeah right so i think i do think that's part of it and then once again like my grandparents and my dad and i just we never really did traditional stuff at thanksgiving it Mm -hmm. was always just what we wanted yeah so that's why the the desserts were probably different than most most people's thanksgivings Mm. so Okay. Yeah, I I don't know. We I just I bought a pumpkin pie. That's it. Still haven't eaten any of it. But do you do you like pumpkin pie? Love pumpkin pie. Okay. I wasn't for some reason I wasn't sure. Do you get pumpkin flavored things nope. throughout fall? Nope. Do you get like peppermint stuff ever? I do like peppermint, yes. Any time of year or around the holidays? Um I mean, one of my favorite candies is a York peppermint patty. So I will eat those any time of year. Mm-hmm. But as far as like candy canes or something like that, I mean, yeah, I'm only going to get anything like that around right. this time of year. But Right. And you're not really a coffee drinker anyway, so nope. that wouldn't matter. There is a big debate, I feel like, between people who like peppermint and like chocolate mm-hmm. and people who think it tastes like toothpaste and... Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of people that say disgusting. that they think peppermint is I think that's a stretch. Toothpaste-y. Or like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I think that's a stretch. I like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I think it's good. 
And it's not, like, I don't know what toothpaste you have, but my toothpaste does not taste like that. I mean, my toothpaste is minty, but it's not. Not the same. I don't think of it. It's not the same. I don't think of it when I eat mint ice cream or a York peppermint patty. I don't think, oh, this is toothpaste, yum. Right. So, yeah, I I don't, I, I know that people feel that way, though. I'm not one of them. Me um, I'm all for mint flavored stuff. I also know that people feel that pumpkin spice is a little too far gone at this point. <laughs> There's so many things that have pumpkin spice. I mean, you can buy pumpkin spice gum, pumpkin spice peeps, pumpkin spice, just everything. They make everything in pumpkin spice. It's ridiculous sometimes. Well, let them. Oh, yeah. That's if somebody wants I to say. eat it, go for it. That's like, what I say. More power to you. I. <laughs> it's just amazing how many things there are that become pumpkin spice this totally. time of year. Yeah, and the line, there, there definitely is a line and it's been crossed, but I'm not going to judge you. No, try it. Silly. If you want it, I don't care. They make like they make mac and cheese flavored ice cream. Where they do. We live in a society where the flavors have gone wild. They're chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know about mac and cheese ice cream. Like I'd try it, but I, I don't, I don't know. Just have you seen? Weird. There's ranch as well. Yeah. No. I don't like sweet and savory. We've discussed this. This before. is beyond sweet and savory. It's, it's, but it is still kind of that. This is a criminal ideal. offense <laughs> to ice cream. It's this a isn't, criminal offense to yeah, ice cream. This is not like, oh, I want, I want like a salted caramel. We've That's got a, sweet and savory. We've got to find these somewhere because I want to try it just to see what it is. Because I'm, I'm intrigued by the fact that it is thing well because like ranch flavored ice cream does not make any sense to no. me like it doesn't it doesn't process in my brain space that no, that's like a i don't i couldn't thing. even imagine how it's going to or taste. mac and cheese ice cream either like it's just a weird mm-hmm. were you do you remember and i don't know if you were you may have still been in high school and living in jeff city so i don't know if you would have remembered this or not but okay years ago we had one of those do you know you know what cicadas are right those big bugs that come out yeah so several years ago we had one of the one of the times when they line up where they they because they bury themselves in the ground and they only they hibernate for several years like there's some that come out every seven years or some that come out every 13 years there's some that come out every year yeah well, a few years ago, we had one where, like, all of them converged at once, and there was, like, a, a hundred billion cicadas everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Like, I mean, I, I, remember walking in, I remember walking into work one night, and I couldn't see the wall of the building because there was so many cicadas crawling on the wall That's around terrifying. the light. Um, and they would fly into the building when you were, when you were walking in, and, like, yeah, it was, it, it was terrible. But anyway, there was a, an ice cream shop in Columbia that decided to make cicada ice cream mm-hmm. and it got stopped pretty quick because the cicada is not a a uh, an FDA um mm-hmm. legitimate FDA legitimate that's not a way FDA approved right. bug correct um are there but FDA there was people that tr- bugs yeah i mean there's bugs in food there's certain so, foods that have bugs in it that so you can, what stops cicadas i have from... no idea okay sorry yeah, I don't Continue. know. I can't. I can't answer that question. You'd have to call uh, whoever leads the FDA. I don't, I don't know. Well, we could probably Google it, but before That's we possible. have to do that, anyway. But... Um, anyway. And I, uh, it, and it. I remember people saying it was pretty popular. I, ugh, not not for me <laughs> though. Did you try it? No, oh. no. I that 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 weirds me out a little too much. Yeah. So I'm curious. I don't know if they were like ground up in it or if it was like big chunks. Right. Of I don't have a clue. Right. And do we think <laughs> like what? Because I know the place you're talking about mm-hmm. that wanted to do it. How were they attaining these bugs? I mean, I would just guess they were like catching them from somewhere. Like they were all, again, I said, like they were so prevalent that I was walking into work at night and the light, you know, they're attracted to like, those sodium right. lights, those like yellow lights and the wall. Cause we had one over our door at the station. The wall was covered so much that you couldn't see the color of the wall anymore. It was just moving brownness of the cicadas. That's insane. And which I understand, but I just mean like if you're planning on doing something with cicadas and like selling it to a mass amount of people, which I know they didn't get very far with it, but they surely had to catch 
thousands of them if they thought no. they were going to be able to make ice cream. I don't know. Maybe not. You don't, I mean, they're probably not making big batch. You know, you're not like selling this to a grocery store. You're making smaller batches of it. Right. But and cicadas are pretty big bugs. But they were doing it like, I imagine just the employees of that, like, were they getting sent ice cream with cicadas in it? Do you think from no, like, their supplier it. or they were just going to make it? I'm guessing they made it. I don't really know. And I'm know. just intrigued on how they were planning on, like, were they just going outside and being like, all right, start up a batch. That just seems a little crazy to me. I don't really know what they're. That's a good question. Curious on what their plan method was. was. Yeah, I I don't know. That's a good question. Usually, you know this stuff. Yeah, well, you know, Usually you know all the weird things. <laughs> well, just because I'm full of weird facts doesn't necessarily mean I know how that kind of stuff happens. This is so random. What I'm about to ask you, but oh, good lord, it's just something that I was thinking about earlier. You know those little like on like a sandwich bag or like on a bag of apples, they have those plastic little things that hold the bag together it's like you twist the ties it the you, twisty ties not the ties but they're like a square and they have like the circle in the middle and they kind of oh the little clip things yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. do you can conti- or even this applies for the twist things as well do you keep those or do you just once you've opened it once you twist it up and no i keep using them until that that item is gone mm. and then when that when that i mean i throw it away with the bag like i don't keep them after that no but. i just mean like once i take it off the first time i'm not using it again no, I still use them. Okay. I think I'm just Because I'll twist the thing up, and then I'll just put it back on there. Well, I just twist it, and if it's like a sandwich bag, you twist it, and then you put it under the bag. The bag sits on it. It doesn't open. Yeah. I don't know, but mine, I don't... My pantry is relatively full, and there's not ever a... Pl- there's not always a place, a flat place to set things. Okay. So there's stuff sitting on top of other things, so it yeah, can't necessarily it can't, sit on okay. itself like that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so I just... Twi- and that's what we what I always did as a kid, too. Right. Like, we just... It's definitely what you're supposed to do. Oh, I don't know if there's a I right or wrong way to do it. I've just... I don't think I've ever kept one of those things in my life, but like I said, that was super random. Yeah. I... I mean, I remember as a kid my grandma used to have several of those twisty ties just in a drawer like oh. they were they had been sold because they were all yeah. still attached together so you could use them for things huh but i i always always used um clothes pins to close anything i just oh bought like a, for chip bought bags? a big patch of clothes pins oh the wooden ones well mine are plastic or, but yeah you, there's little the little clip things gotcha. the little alligator clip yep. looking things yeah and i just bought a bag of those years ago and that's just what I used to close everything even even the like bags if I don't have a twisty tie anymore I twist it around and then I'd put a clothespin on it and it holds it I don't think I've ever closed a thing in my life with another thing <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> I do just do, what do you do with like a bag of chips fold it and here's the shelf you put it against the shelf and hope for the best Hope that it doesn't unravel. Also, I don't buy chips that often because I will eat the whole bag. And so if I have chips, I'm probably that's just a, eating the whole bag. That's a difficult thing to not do. But it's one of the... I won't get too into it. It's It can get dark pretty quickly. I have no control over, like, junk food. You don't have self-control with junk food? Not one bit. I, not a bit. I have pretty... I have okay self-control with junk food. Like, I can usually have candy in my apartment. Like I've had a I've had a box of candy in my apartment for I would say probably four or five months and haven't even opened it. I like, I'm getting better as I'm getting older, mm-hmm. but I think it just comes from and it's so funny because you think it'd be the opposite. I hear people say like when if they weren't allowed to have something as a kid, they can't control themselves around it now as an yeah. adult. My dad let me have anything at well, any yeah. We point talked about that when we tried the gel candy that you used to try to eat. In your Love on you, your dad. way to work. Love you, Dad. On my way to school. On my way school. to school. Sorry, it was my breakfast. Sorry. Work school. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he let me have whatever, because it just I don't know. I was I wasn't like I was a still like active and doing things. It's yeah. not like it was all I ever did. But he just if I was like Dad, I want five pints of Ben and Jerry's. I would he would go to the store and I'd have five pints of Ben and Jerry's. And if I ate them all in a day, I ate them all in a day, and that was just that. But. I have no, like, I I couldn't even imagine opening, very good example, a pint of ice cream and not just finishing it. That's bananas to me. 
if I've got that in front of me. The pint is the bigger container, right? No, the pint is about a half, and then it's a half gallon, and then it's a okay. gallon. Okay, okay. A Maybe pint is like, like Ben and Jerry's usually are just in like little those pints about this big. Okay, I I can agree with you on that because usually if that gets opened, it's probably the whole thing's gonna get eaten. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who like. There's not a world that exists where I can't where I wouldn't do that. Okay. Or like I mean um, that makes sense the the little pints. I'm yeah. Yeah. Like but, a half gallon no, but But I know people who will just like take a I couple bites and be like, "I'm good. I'm done." It depends on how I feel. I've done that before. The problem the problem that I have with it and this is and this sounds probably crazy, but the problem that I have with it is if I do that and I just take a couple bites out of it and put it back in the freezer, it's going to go bad. Because it's going to sit in there so long that it's going to get ice covered and it's not going to be good anymore. Because yeah, I, won't, I won't pick it up again for months. That's, yeah, not the case for me. <laughs> most of, most of the sweets that I eat on a regular basis is fruit. That's where I get my sweets. Like I eat a lot of blueberries, strawberries apples things like that that's what i eat is like a dessert for most of my meals when i eat when if i eat something like that i eat a fruit i eat fruit i love fruits i love fruit i won't it's not a substitute for a dessert for me no i'd rather not eat a dessert and eat a fruit for dessert that will not satisfy a sweet craving that i have at hmm. all it does for me i love fruit i just had fruit i'll yeah. eat like an apple and yeah i love blueberries i love pineapple i love strawberries but it's not in any world is it a dessert it can okay. be on a dessert <laughs> it can be part of it yeah it is not a dessert it is to a dessert. me i yeah. i mean i get that i yeah. i but i will eat fruit instead of i don't eat a ton of desserts um i just eat fruit a lot of times like i want something sweet i will eat fruit that's good but it's just the way it is. I, I don't, I mean. Have you ever had um, an apple tart? Have you ever had a tart? Like the little turnover things? Like the I think so. Yeah. Apple with bread and whatever? and Yeah. Yeah. I had one the other day. And you know how I always say, like, I don't like warm. Yeah, you don't like warm fruit. fruit. Mm-hmm. Did you like this? I think I have to go back on that <sighs> for apple tart. So we're going to try apple pie now? No, I've had apple pie. Still don't like it. Have you had it recently? Um, because it's really not no, any different but... than an apple tart. This we might not be talking about the same thing. This was just like very thinly sliced apples made into like a little square with like cinnamon, and it had ice cream on top. But there really wasn't bread. I actually don't know what you mean by bread. Okay, so and we're not we might thinking, be talking about different things. We're not thinking of the thing, same thing then. I still know I don't. Like apple pie though, because <laughs> like what I was thinking of is I've made these before. You buy like a like a pack of like the easy bake biscuits that are like the dough. Yeah. And you wrap, you slice oh, the I've apple, had that. wrap I've that had around that the apple, and... and then you coat it in like cinnamon sugar and like a like a glaze. Type I've thing had that, that exact thing. I had friends who would make those and mm-hmm. they made them for like a friend's getting one time, and I tried it, and then, yeah, I'm not into that. When I say sliced, I mean like. They could it's like a chip almost. Yeah, you could, you could than a chip. Yeah. fry it and make yeah. it into a chip. And like yeah. they did it, yeah. And they but they were all put together and it was just it was just different. it's not an apple pie though. Hmm. Very I I think it was different. But I did I will admit that that was a time I had. Was that warm? Warm. It was warm fruit. Okay. Probably soggy fruit and I enjoyed it. Hmm. Okay. Are we going to turn this into the new soup journey? How's the soup journey going by the way? Have we tried any new soups lately? You know, I really just like French onion. You just kind of stopped with the French onion and didn't go any farther? I mean, I've had bisques, and I've okay. had broccoli cheddar, and, you and I like them. But you haven't cared about them as much as the French onion. But I will say, I like, I had a lobster bisque that is very, very good. Mm-hmm. And I'd get it again, but it's hard, it's hard for me to pick that over other things at like a restaurant, I think. That makes sense. Not really, like, usually I'm not, I feel I'm not like, out buying soups. I'm I feel like soup, soup is out. a lot of times, though, at a restaurant is like an appetizer. I don't feel like soup is usually a main course at a restaurant. This is true, but I think if I'm going to get There's still other soup, appetizers well, that you would rather have or something. And I'm going to get, yeah, I'll, I'm going to get French onion probably if it's an option. <laughs> so. 
Okay. That's that's the soup journey. Oh, someone did ask me the other day. Everyone's really pushing chili, especially this time of year. I love everyone chili. You chili. don't like chili. Everyone I know. Everyone wants you to try their chili because it's better than everyone's chili. Oh, you haven't had this chili. Trust me. <laughs> it's going to taste the same to me <laughs> because I don't like chili. Yeah. I love As chili. Someone, if someone likes chili, I'm sure they'll taste all 10 different chilies and they could tell you which one they like the best to the least, and they could tell you if it's white chicken versus a spicy chili versus something else. I'm sure they could pick that out, and they know which <laughs> ones they like the best. But that is not the case if you don't like chili to begin with, Yeah, I think. so. I mean, you could probably taste the difference, but you don't like it, so it's not going to matter. Yeah, I don't, they're all, I'm just going to be like, ew, every single time, so why does it matter? Yeah. I promise I won't like your chili. It's nothing against the person making the chili. It's just it's, you don't, don't like chili. I don't like chili. chili. And I just need pe- that to get through people's heads. <laughs> it's happened so many times recently, too. It's wild. There was really? a chili cook-off at work, and it was, like, the same thing. There's been multiple people at, like, I don't want to say because I don't want people to get, like, offended if they think I'm talking about them. People aren't, like, forcing me to try it, but it just seems but they like keep asking this time you, of year, yeah. if it's someone's birthday, people are getting together to watch a football game, people are getting together for a Friendsgiving, you know, I'm yeah, over at someone's house, everyone's got chili, and like, you gotta try my chili. I don't. I don't have to try your chili, actually. <laughs> I will try the chili. Bring it yeah, to me. I will I'll try just, it. I'll pack it up and bring it here for you. <laughs> but, I digress. Yeah. I don't know. I, I love food. Obviously. I can love food and not like chili. Yeah. Would you consider yourself a picky eater? Um, when I was a kid, yes. But there, I, I like a lot of foods that I will say picky people who identify as picky eaters would hate. Like, like I love my favorite food in the entire planet is seafood. I will eat any fish. Okay. And I think that makes me not a picky eater. I love onions on a lot of things. I love... But but see, I guess you and I have different opinions of picky, because I consider picky any... It doesn't matter what you're picky about. If you don't... If you're very, like, selective on what you will eat, then you're a picky eater. But I'm not. Okay. I just then, don't like chili. Then you're not a... <laughs> <laughs> I still like chili, and we know how I feel about warm fruit. It's not my taste. Yeah. Okay. Well, then there you go. To a certain extent, you could be a picky eater. We just talked about Thanksgiving foods that you don't like. You're selective about Thanksgiving food. I mean, I'm selective about some things, but I'm you don't very, like sweet and salty. That I'm a sounds very pretty picky to me. Adventurous eater, so oh, I will okay. try just about anything. But I know a lot of people who won't even try things. We have a f- close friend who, literally, I think I've maybe seen him eat a ham sandwich and mac and cheese, and that's all I've ever seen him eat. Well, yeah, because that's all he does eat. Nick, he's been on here. This is true. This is true. He, yeah. You guys like know. We've talked about this before, too, I yes. think, on here. And, yeah, mac and cheese and... And and, and then, like, sandwich. cookies. Yeah. Desserts, sweets. But that's but, true. That's a picky eater. He is a picky eater. He's a picky eater for sure. No, I don't consider myself a picky eater. Okay. Because I'll eat a lot of stuff. Speaking of seafood, mm-hmm. I think... Ugh, I love sushi. Like, sushi really is always been my, like, my death row meal. Anytime someone asks, like, what's your favorite food, it's always sushi. But I had scallops the other day. I like scallops. And I forgot that scallops might actually be my favorite food. I think I love scallops okay. more than anything. More than anything. I'm not a sushi person. I've had it a few times. A lot of people are not sushi people. It's not really my thing. I could eat it all day, every day. It's yeah. my favorite food of all time. And I think it's I think you can get sweet sushi. I think sushi can be spicy. I think it can be more savory. I think sushi can taste very fishy. I think it can taste nothing like fish. Oh, I yeah. think it's very diverse. Well, you can have sushi without fish. This is true. I think you can put veggies in it, make mm-hmm. it healthier, fry it, not so healthy. But it's you can have it with multiple different types of sauces. It's Oh, it's very versatile, but it's so good. I don't, I, I don't, I get why people don't because it is a very distinct, fish is not something people just are like. It's not even the fish. What is it? I don't know. I just not, a, I'm just not a fan. I don't know if it's everything mixed together, like how it's, how it's done. Cause I like fish. I eat fish. I don't eat fish that often cause I don't want to cook it in my apartment. But if, if there, if I go to a place that has fish, I have no problem getting fish. You like- I I've eaten a lot of different fishes. <laughs> that sounded weird. I've eaten fish from a lot of different parts of the world. I've yeah. eaten a lot of rare fish. I've eaten a lot of different things, seafood things. I, I like seafood. 
Right. But I don't, I don't, I don't, it's something about sushi that I'm not a fan of. You say all the stuff together. Do you like rice? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you eat rice, like, in the same bite as, like, shrimp? Probably. I, so I don't. That, I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting I've, thing. I've, I've tried it. Do you I've realize that that is, some yeah, sushi is just rice and a fish? Yeah, I know. Maybe I guess seaweed in there too. Hmm. I know. I just I've the one the everything that I've tried sushi wise, I was not a fan of. That is so interesting. Now maybe I need to give it another shot. It's been a little while. Okay. But tell you what, I would try an apple pie, like a. You could pick it out. You could go buy one. You could make one. You know, whatever you think is the best apple pie option. I would try that and well, give gonna, it a genuine shot. I'm going to guess you, my apple pie is, me making it apple pie is not going to be that. Well, I didn't know if that's what you prefer or if you go, prefer to go buy it or if you know someone that makes it. Like, whatever you think is the best yeah. way to get an apple mm-hmm. pie in the most convenient way. Okay. Get that for me and I will get what I think is some of the best sushi in town for you. Okay, we'll have to and try that. We'll give it a go. We may have to do that in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's our only option. Because you're going to be leaving, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that I don't know if we talked about that. I don't think we have. Oh, well. Um, yeah, Most people, if you're watching this, you probably know that. Yeah. And that and it's sense. not going to end end this. We're going to keep doing We're gonna this. We're going to give it our it's best just go gonna, for as long just, as we can. I mean, I think we'll be fine. Doesn't I think we do too, hour. but I mean, my life will change. Yeah. We'll have to take that into consideration yeah but i think we'll be okay yeah um anyway um yeah i think (laughs) thanksgiving (laughs) we watched my favorite thanksgiving movie it's not a thanksgiving movie (laughs) but i i think that it is there's it happens at like there's one part of it that's in things at thanksgiving um rocky Mm -hmm. the original one in 1976 rocky balboa Mm mm-hmm did you watch it, or did you have you just watched it recently? And I didn't? watched it. Okay, what do you th- what do you think of it? I think it should definitely be on this list. I think it's a great movie. I think the fact that Sylvester Stallone wrote this movie when he was broke and living in his car, and just made it into a movie and refused to let anyone else play Rocky, I th- and I think that's an incredible story. I love Sylvester Stallone. This movie makes me think of my dad. I think that. You know, the whole movie leading up to that fight where they go 15 rounds and obviously, spoiler alert, he still doesn't, like, win the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But it's not the point. Yeah. It's just the fact that, like, the whole movie is about taking a chance on this guy. And the fact that that is what happened with him in real life is take someone just took a chance on him and let him make this movie is wonderful. I love everything about this movie. Okay. It's a classic. You're not going to like my opinion. That's okay. It, I haven't liked it before. It, it it bored the crap out of me. Had you seen it before this? I had seen parts of it. I had never watched the whole thing all the way through. I think I had seen the. I mean, I've I've seen the clip of like the training, the running mm-hmm. down sure. and running up the Everyone's stairs. Everybody's seen that. seen that clip. And I think I'd seen I'd seen I feel like most of the boxing match at the end. But the rest of it, I hadn't seen, and it did not give me any reason to ever watch it again. I think I watch it with very biased eyes as well because it is such a big part of not my life, but kind of. You, well, you said you watched it's my it. dad's all-time favorite movie, yeah. and I know that. So that going into it is like... It's going to well, make I, a difference, yeah. I kind yeah. of have to like it. And, I mean, I've seen it so many times that, like, watching it, like, I don't really have to... I feel like a movie goes by quicker when you know that, like, when you've seen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus when you are just like sitting there trying to like take it all in for the first time, it does feel like it's going on longer because you don't know Mm -hmm. what's going to happen. So for me, it's, yeah, it's great. I love it. I do think it's one of the best movies. I'm not surprised it's on this list. And fun fact my dad had two turtles and he named them Rocky and Adrian. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I didn't, I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me, I guess. It was just, I thought it was kind of boring. I, I, even the, yeah, yeah, I know. Tough crowd. Yep, I, I don't, I don't know what to, what to say other than that. Do you like, like 
fighting movies. Have you seen? I'm not a big fighting person in okay, general. Okay, that could be part of it. Um, I'm not a big fighting person in general. Like, I like action movies, but I wouldn't consider this an action movie. It's not, like, and I don't have a problem with fight scenes in action movies and stuff like that. I, I guess I'm not a big, like, I don't care about, like, the actual fighting of, like, boxing, stuff like that, but... If you put a fight sequence in a in the middle of a James Bond movie, I'll probably enjoy that to a certain extent. But I'm still not huge into the fighting. I'm more watching for other stuff. The big battle, big battle sequences like Game of Thrones, where you have this massive, just just massive battle, is interesting to watch because it's so many people doing so many things going on at once. But I'm not a big fighting person in general. Yeah, and there's really. Yeah, there's not really a lot of the movie that's even... No, it's fighting. the last, what, ten minutes? Yeah. Five, ten minutes that actually has the, the actual fight. Yeah. Like, I guess, and the first minute and a half where he's... I'm just a sucker for the out. story. Yeah. And the story just didn't... It didn't do anything for me. Well, that's sad. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Like, I don't... I'm not gonna say either way but, that it really matters, but... So, we'll, anyway. We'll find, we'll find more that yeah. I'm sure... So, we're going to watch Blade Runner this week. Yes. Have you ever seen Blade Runner? Nope. It's um it's interesting. So, who's in it? Is it uh, Crossing? It is. No, it's that's uh the old, that's it's the Harrison new, Ford. That's the new one, right? Yes. This is like a second Blade yeah. Runner or sub with a number. Yeah. Blade Runner 2049, I believe is what and it is. And that's Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I've seen parts of that one. Okay. okay. Well, this is I mean, <laughs> it's it's very old. <laughs> okay, it's, well, it's, it's it's not. I'm it's sure we've watched older. So, oh, for sure. Um, but anyway, hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, comment. We'll try to talk to you after next time. Um, we didn't have any comments this week, so. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.